my channel. This is all the ladies where we do affordable fashion, cruelty-free beauty sometimes, um, and a little bit of homeware and product reviews. And that little bit is today. We've not been into a homeware store, a bargain shop, a department store, or any form of homeware store at all for a long time. I actually don't remember the last time we did this. But this has come at a really good point because in my house at the moment, we're having a little bit of a maneuver. We're changing certain rooms. Boys are going from two rooms to one room. There's stuff going on, there's, there's movement. And to be quite honest with you, I didn't do this in the spring. Most women have this spring out with the old, in with the new. I don't think I had that this year. I don't know, maybe it's because spring actually never happened and summer clearly has never happened. So let's do it now. I went into the range and I went into B&M. I bought the most random things. So obviously this does not make sense to you, but this is all stuff that I was popping in my trolley and I thought, let's do a little haul on this. You never know, you might be interested in seeing what I'm buying. Anyway, as I was setting up this morning, I had a little package arrive from the one and only E5P. And I was like, hang on, did I put an order in? And I did. About a week ago, I saw two items which I couldn't wait to have for the next month's haul, which I believe is at the end of this month. So I ordered them in because I did not want to miss out. So let's just open these now. I know this is a bit of a random video, but let's have a wee look at what I ordered. The smallest E5P haul to date. The first little item is, actually it's not little, it's a two piece. And I just fell in love with this. I'm sure this is going out of stock very, very quickly. It is a two piece, but look at the colors. Very, very excited about this. It's by a brand called Barley. And if you can see that skirt and top, and it's a wrap skirt. So how cute is this? Now, obviously, if I've got time, you'll be seeing me one side or the other in the split screen. Hopefully it fits. Now this is in a small medium. I saw the pattern and I was just like, I have to have that. And if it doesn't suit me, I'll stick it on Vinted, but I just need to try it out. A nice length sleeves as well, not too short. And they're elasticated at the bottom. Really, really fab little outfit. And then I don't know how short the top's gonna be, but the skirt could possibly go a little bit higher. So, cause you know, I don't like to get my belly button air area out but a little bit higher than that and actually it looks okay so I just thought that was an absolutely fab little outfit obviously £5.50 £5.75 this is completely different I actually thought that this might be a brand it's not well it is a brand but I mean it's not a high street brand Kai Chic or Kishik or Kick Hick <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I just thought it was a really nice, classic black dress. Don't know if you can see this, but there is a clear lace here, which is so delicate. It's a V-neck, but it's almost a sweetheart neck as well. Nice length sleeves, and it just falls down quite a nice length. With a tiny little split at the bottom. This is your go-to little black dress. If you don't know what to wear in the evening, this is a real classic. That was the smallest E5P haul I think I've ever done. But I thought I might as well show you because it's just been delivered. We got B&M, we got the range. There's a load to get through. Through. So grab yourself a drinky and let's crack on with it. I'm going to start off with this ceramic vase because oh, it's actually not a vase. It's considered a churn, a white churn. Oh, because of the milk churn. Okay, I get it. This is a really, really big piece and it's a really heavy piece. This was actually in the sale shelves. I wasn't that impressed with the sale selection. It was literally just one small aisle, you know, on the one side. I was actually quite surprised that I found something that I really liked. So this was $12.99. I got it for $10.99. It is fully glazed. So it's ceramic vase. I mean, you could use it for your kitchen kitchen utensils if you've got really tall kitchen utensils but for me absolutely a vase you know me I love my plants they don't have to be real I've gotta say I do have quite a lot of artificial flowers now check these out now I don't know if you are familiar with the range but they do a lot of artificial flowers and foliage so I picked up some of these how amazing are these so I got three fern and I got three eucalyptus I love eucalyptus when I used to have my little flower business I always use eucalyptus as a filler. I feel like I've got an echoey voice because I'm near this. Each fern stem comes in at $1.99, which I thought was an absolute bargarello. And the eucalyptus is actually a bit more, £2.49. So my thoughts were, you don't know, go in odd numbers. So I thought, one, two, three, just give them a little zhuzh. And I actually think that's all this vase needs. You've got the tallness of the fern and then you've got the fullness of the eucalyptus. I've got to be honest with you, I'm kind of done with the whole pampas grass thing. Well, I never went down the pampas grass route. Keep it to foliage, keep it to greenery. It's not going to date and it's not going to get up your nose. So for the churn, also known as a vase, and the six foliage stems, it comes in at about £24. So that is not bad, is it? When you put this on your table, hopefully I'll do a little split screen photo for you of this on my 
my table. So that is the first item. Then, and we're gonna stick on foliage. This was also in the sale. Can we just have a moment for this? It's an aloe plant, but it has, I mean, it's almost rubbery. It's not like this kind of more plasticky effect. It's kind of rubbery. I suppose that's the aloe effect. I thought this would be absolutely fab in my bathroom. Aloe bathroom kind of makes sense. I think this was about $13.99, but it was in the sale for $10.99. But I did notice it looks like it's kind of coming away. And also I don't really like that fake mossy grass, but I found something down another row. These little stones. So a bag of these stones cost £1.99. Let's get them in here. I think this is gonna class it up a little bit. Get rid of that crappy fake moss effect. I like. That is so much better because it covers up all of that crud. So actually for the money that I saved buying this in the sale, get a little bag of these. And I've actually got plenty left as well. Do I have anything else I can stick these around? No, I'll use these for something else. And then you've got this lovely little aloe display. I think that's really, really fun. I'm an absolute sucker for plants, honestly. I think that's all the plants. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Actually, should we just pop it there and then we can enjoy? She's a big piece, that. Right, that's done with the foliage. You're gonna laugh at this. I don't know if I'm really, really late to the bandwagon here. Check this little dachshund out or sausage dog. I don't know what it is, but everything is sausage dogs everywhere. It has been for a few years now. If you're into sausage dogs, then, you know, you're laughing. Personally, I'm not. I'm a Cocker Spaniel girl. Try and guess what this is for. It's a kitchen roll holder. So honestly, if it had just been an ornament, not interested. The fact that this has a purpose and it's in gold, and you gotta admit, that is a bit of a conversation piece. Okay, how much was he? £12.59. Now, from the B&M haul, I picked up some of these, which I will mention. Now, if anyone didn't know, Fabulosa is cruelty-free. I did not realise that. I only realised that today, and that's something else that I wanted to mention. I've just downloaded an app called Cruelty Cutter. It's completely free, and by the way, this is not sponsored by them, but my gosh, is it helping me when I shop? I don't know about you, but if you're conscious about buying cruelty-free or not, with this app that I've got on my phone, all you do is scan any barcode, and we're talking any shop, in the UK, scan the barcode and it will pop up on your screen whether it's cruelty free or not. Now, obviously, you never think a kitchen roll could be tested on animals, but it's more the fragrance that they are using in lots of products, especially household products. Anyway, it popped up. This product is cruelty free. So yes, yes, yes. I always thought Fabulosa wasn't, which is why I never bit the bullet with them. Anyway, look at these. Scented kitchen rolls, lime sherbet. So let's give this a go. Take off his head. Oh my giddy. That is amazing. I love it. Let's take this little collar off you. Oh, he's an absolute keeper, isn't he? I have a friend who is mad on sausage dogs. Well, she's got two sausage dogs and she would absolutely love this. So I'm either going to keep this or I'm going to gift it to her. What a fab idea. But also most kitchen roll holders are vertical. This cheeky little thing is horizontal. So I'm really, really shocked with that. £12.59. I think that is brilliant and absolutely a conversation piece as well. So absolutely love that. This is a piece of me. Oh my goodness. I was going to get two because you always think, don't you, candlesticks should be in twos, one either side of a door or one either side of the fireplace. So I may have to go back and get another one. This is a bronze hurricane candle holder. Let me just pull it down because I don't think my screen's big enough. How nice is that? This kept coming off in the shop. I'm not too sure why it's loose. Uh, maybe it's easier to wash. I think that's absolutely awesome. $15.99. Now, I did pick up a candle. I picked up a fakie because I don't think I've got a real one that I could light, but I wanted you to see what it looked like. Can't see it on the receipt. Anyway, it was £2.99. They come with a battery inside. So obviously once that's done, I mean, have you ever replaced batteries in these? I certainly haven't. Oh my God, it smells. Oh, this is a smelly fake candle. <laughs> Whatever next, it's vanilla. It doesn't come with a battery. Too good to be true that they actually put batteries in. You can't see it in the camera, but it is lit and it's flickering. I'll pop a split screen here just so you can see it at night time. I am gonna have to get another one of those because I love it too much. Um, I also picked up a reed diffuser, but this really appealed to me. It's almost like painted sand, so it's very, very textured. $7.99 for this. It's a really good size reed diffuser and it's in the smell Black Orchid. I zapped that on my cruelty cutter and it came up as cruelty free. So winner, winner, chicken dinner, as they say. This is something that I keep to gift. Got my mum's 80th birthday coming up. She'd love that. So yeah, $7.99 for that, I thought that was absolute bargarello. Right, next 
item uh, is a five arm candlestick holder, which I just fell in love with. This is very us, the household. We have a lot of this black metal that if you could see at the bottom of this table here, the whole lounge is basically that and wood. So this will fit in perfectly alongside plants I absolutely love candles and I'm not one of those people that buys candles and never burns them are you that kind of person I know people that are that kind of person I think the key is to not buy candles that are so pretty you don't want to melt them but no one ever says to me what would you like for your birthday I'm like nothing but if you want to get me something little a candle <laughs> Love them. Um, this is fab. It's five arms, which is brill. The middle one is a little bit taller, so it's going to give that height as well. I like this vibe. It would look awesome um, in the middle of your dining table. This came in at £12.99, so £13. Why do they still use 99 We all know it's one penny less than 13 So £13 for that. I really, really like it. It's also quite heavy, ladies. It's not, you know, pathetic. It's a good substantial piece, which is what you need when you've got things that have flames on the top of them. But yeah, love that. Now, in my B&M haul, which is after this, I picked up some really, really unusual candlesticks to go in this. Should I show you them now? No, I'll wait. Um, so there we go, $12.99 for that. I did also go into, and I always do do, I do do go into the beauty section in the range just to have a little look at their W7. And the range is literally the best place to go if you love a bit of W7 makeup. But anyway, I didn't pick up W7. But how nice are these? They're lip tints and their cheek tints. And actually, I'm wearing this one today. I do like my blusher, as you know. This color though i tried one in the car on the way back home it's so so nice these came in at one pound 99 cruelty free and vegan peter approved so that's me very very happy so if i open up this one this one's called gleam and it's like that you'll pop it on your cheeks or your lips let's give this a little go don't need a lot ladies like literally the tiniest amount look at that color look at that color that is absolutely a bit of me because I love the kind of peachy orangey undertones yeah really happy with those two so obviously that's gonna go on my cheek that's gonna go on my lips but obviously if it's in my kit I can use it for both we'll say as well I saw these exact products in the B&M haul and they were a pound more so I picked them up in the right store didn't tell you the brand a Sunkist $1.99 for those a couple of other products from the beauty side two pounds for these lashes I've had them before they're fab they're not too long because my eyes are quite short so I always find these fabulous and also fabulous is my word for the day but it does come with an adhesive so that's worth noting and for two pounds honestly they are fab you can get wispies that just do the edge so i haven't got them on today so my eyes look a bit pinny but normally i put like wispies just on the corners uh, just to kind of accentuate the eye these will go straight into my kit as well i've got a wedding coming up at the end of this month so hopefully the bridal party will fancy some of these i must say even though the beauty section in the range isn't that extensive i always get lucky with lashes and obviously the w7 range as well and then these beauties which I have not tried before. Very, very cute. So you've got the moisture conditioner, moisture shampoo with coconut water extract, vegan and cruelty free. And they've got the pump as well, which is great. Really, really handy to have the pump. So you'd have to take the lid off, blah, blah, blah. Give them a go. That's what I say, because if you can find something that really works for you and it ticks all those boxes, then that's a win-win situation. £1.99 each. So £4 for both of them, which is a steal. So if they work, I'm a very happy lady. How cute is this my voice went really high then this is actually a citronella candle but you know what i actually fell in love with the packaging and this beautiful little gold bee how adorable is that so in my mind alexa stop that's the kids dinner ready once it's been used outside on the patio then i will clean it dishwasher it and pop bits in it i don't mean i don't know i just use it as a pot for maybe my makeup brushes so it has a life after the intention if you know what i mean so oh my giddy that is absolutely gorgeous cruelty free as well which is great love this this is what makes it so yeah love a bee three pound 49 god that's good yeah, I remember now thinking that's a really good price. Uh, they also had this, I think, in a lime green as well. But as you know, this is my favourite colour. So £3.49 for a little citronella candle for the patio. Talking of candles, this was in the sale. It's called Coconut Fizz. I took the lid off and it smells like pina colada. God, that is just, that is, wow, that is absolutely incredible. It does smell just like a pina colada. True aroma scented candle was, I believe, £4.99. I got it for £3.99. Gorgeous, gorgeous smell this. And a really fab colour. I love that kind of two-tone as well, really tropical. This is the proof that I absolutely love my candles. Um, I also picked up 
this as well. This is a relax candle, soothing lavender and tonka bean. Whatever tonka bean is, it smells absolutely fab. $4.99 for this. And I also got it in cedar and cardamom. I mean, to be quite honest with you, they're quite nice little gifts or to put in a gift bag. Love the smells of those, $4.99 each. You can reuse the glass jars. I mean, they're super, super heavy. Do I have any more candles? No more candles, but look at this. This is the last item. It was the first item I actually put in the basket. This is gonna go in my downstairs toilet. It's very much about the artificial plants off the walls. I do like that kind of botanical look, as I mentioned earlier. So it looks like the little succulent plants just growing out of this kind of aluminium little tray. Um, I don't think this was that much, actually. $7.99 it was. To be quite honest with you, I could have bought a million items in the range. You'll end up spending a fortune and completely re-kitting out your house, but no, that's definitely gonna suit my downstairs toilet. Right, that was the last item from the range. Let's whiz over to b and like I said, it was a random haul. Toilet rolls. <laughs> these are no ordinary toilet rolls. So these are the Fabulosa. Already showed you the kitchen rolls. And they're scented. This is pomegranate. So your bottom should feel very lucky. £3.49 for nine. That's okay, isn't it? I think what made me get them is because I've discovered that Fabulosa was actually cruelty free. So I was just going to go the whole hog. I've also bought the multi-surface cleaner. And that is in seduction. I mean, literally, it's the last thing I think of when I'm cleaning my worktop. But uh, we'll give it a go. Kills 99.9% .9 bacteria, like most brands. And it was cheap. I think this was 89p, if I remember rightly. So if it works, and it's cruelty-free and vegan, then I am all for that. Maybe I'm late to the bandwagon. You tell me. But I'm going to give that a go. But also, I thought, let's pick up some of their washing liquid as well. This, I believe, was £3. I was a bit interrupted then by the courier. This, ladies, is the haul for next Friday, which is my High Street Outlet collaboration. Do not miss it because you're going to need to know about this website. It is fandangly amazing. High street clothes, cut prices, you know what you're getting as in you know the brand you're getting. But anyway, that is from High Street Clothing Outlet. That is next Friday. So I know this hall's a little bit wibbly wobbly. Back to washing liquid. Um, yes, yeah, so this is in the smell electrify. I'm not too sure what this is going to smell like. I don't know. It's clean. It's lovely. It's cruelty free, vegan. I'm going to give that a go as well. Normally I get Lidl or Aldi capsules because all of their cleaning products are cruelty free as well. This was £3.49 and it does 20 washes. I suppose it depends how much you put in the little drawer. But anyway, excited to try that brand. I know I'm late to the bandwagon, but better to be late than sorry. Is that the same? Obviously, I didn't pick up enough candles from the range. So I picked up this beauty. This is gorgeous. Actually, this I'm not going to keep. This I'm going to gift to my mum. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but she's 80 in August. So I'm just collating like a selection of things that she might like. Beautiful ceramic pot very very heavy good quality pot and you can reuse this as well so you've got a nice sucky suction lid floral meadow oh she'll absolutely love that rat up her street um six pounds it was so not a bad price at all especially if you've got a reusable pot which is a very very handy totally boring but so worth a mention <laughs> Gas lighters. My gosh, do we get through gas lighters in this house? It says buy two, get one free at the top, four pounds. You're not really, you're just buying three for four pounds. We have one in the lounge, one in the kitchen, and one in the outdoor box for the barbecues and stuff. So yeah, worth getting, four quid. It's not a bad price. This little beauty was just sitting on its own. There's only one left and it's in the sale. The box is slightly damaged. That doesn't bother me at all. These are smoked flute picnic champagne flutes. They were eight pounds and I got them for four pounds on the label. I love a little bargain. I've got this thing where I just, excuse the action there. It's an absolute day for delivery. So two more deliveries. <laughs> These are some little bargains that I found on Vinted. So if you're interested, I'll stick them on my TikTok or Instagram. So bizarre. I can't tell you ladies whether these are glass or plastic. Normally I'm very good with my materials. Uh, but anyway, look how slender and sophisticated those are. I think because they're outdoor living glass, they're probably gonna be plastic or plastic. So look, either way, four pounds. These are great. I love a thin rim. I know that sounds bizarre, but I do like a thin rim on a glass. So there we go. Four little flutes for warmer days, picnic days for four pounds. That's a pound each. Nice little bargain. Picked up a couple of bits for the boys as well for their rooms or room as it will be. Little duvet sets and pillow for seven pounds. Loving the green. Keeps with that botanical theme. You've got zebras on one side and then leafy pattern on the other. That's reversible, obviously. And then the other 
one I picked up, with, I mean, they're probably going to fight about these. This is a tropical print and again, reversible. So you've got the big rubber plant print on the front and then on the back, it's more of a, a muted leaf print. But yeah, seven pounds. I mean, that's cheaper than Ikea. How expensive has Ikea become? That's a whole other story. And I probably went in about six months ago. So God knows what the prices are like now. Anyway, 14 pounds for two single duvet sets. I think that's an absolute steal. Something else as well for their bedroom, which we're desperate for is a little shelf. Nine pounds, again, going with our theme of like the metal and the wood. And they've got three shelves here, so they can have top, bottom, and then the middle one could be maybe their trophies or something like sports trophies or something like that. That's in a light oak finish and it's got a black metal frame. Nine squidroonies for that. So I thought that was an absolute bargain. They will absolutely love that. Told you it was a random haul. Non-stick pan, absolute no brainer this because it comes with a two year guarantee. George Wilkinson, designed in the UK, eat healthy, feel good. It says use little or no oil. I mean, that just doesn't happen in our house. It just means I can chuck away the horrible scratch one that is definitely not non-stick anymore. So yeah, there we go, six pounds, two year guarantee. That is the selling point. Okay, I picked up something from the bathroom section, a soap and scourer holder, and it actually comes with a scouring pad. I mean, I don't know how good the scourer is gonna be, but obviously afterwards you have a little section to put the scour in. Good value, four pounds with a pump action. I suppose it's up to you how you use this. This could be hand soap with a normal soap. Sometimes you like a normal block of soap in your bathroom, but some people like to pump. But I think I'm gonna use it for what it's designed for. Ceramic as well, so it's a good solid piece. Four candles. <laughs> the candles that I told you about when I was showing you the, in fact, let's get it. Here she is. So I got four in black and four in cream. If I bring them up closer, can you see they're actually ridged? So they're not round. I like that. And they come a little bit thinner at the bottom, a bit slimmer at the bottom, so you can pop them in the candle holder. I really hope these fit. Oh no, it's a five candlestick holder and I've got four. That is honestly such an Emily thing to do. Right, I'm gonna do four cream candles around the outside. How perfect are they? I'm absolutely going back for more of these. They're blimmin' brilliant. Can you see? This is probably easier to see. And then I just, just for, can that work? To be fair, now it's got the candlesticks in, you can see how much of a big piece it is. I mean, obviously the idea is to have five cream candles or five black candles, but yeah, you can kind of get the idea. I really like that. The candles come in at three pounds for a pack of four. Right, this I have had my eye on for actually, a, I've gotta be honest, this has probably been in about four months. It is a really solid, heavy piece, this. And I don't think it was much, eight pounds, okay? Five tea lights on a wooden stand with the black metal at the bottom. Let's take it out. Okay, so it is not the color as it is on the box. I have wood stains, so I'm definitely gonna be wood staining that up. Oh my God, how cute. They've actually provided a little tea light. So I actually bought, like I did for the other hurricane, the big hurricane vase, I actually bought a pack of these tea lights. So you get eight for £3.50 and batteries included, which is refreshing. They provide you with a little tea lights. That is really good. So you just pop them in here. And there we go, five little tea lights. It is a heavy piece, ladies. If you are a paler wood kind of girl, then that's worth noting. I will be staining it, and that'll be dead easy to stain. It's eight pounds, um, and it is a very, very solid piece. I just think it needs a little bit of tweaking. And it'll go really, really nicely on the windowsill in the kitchen, so yeah, I love it. Sticking on homeware, again, I think I may have been a little bit late to the party with this. Cork and glass storage collection. Pads, cotton buds, cotton balls. Again, I've had my eye on these for months and I bet some of you are thinking I've got that if you do let me know what you put in yours oh the, so the proper glass no plastic here two of these little ones another big one it's actually really substantial so I suppose you can kind of arrange them how you want there we go oh that's definitely a keeper I was expecting the cork to be a little bit corky whereas it's actually been finished off really really well what I would say is don't get it wet unless it's been treated keep that away from water sources eight pounds for that not a bad price Storage for your bathroom essentials. This is a bit of a random purchase. This is me being really, really optimistic. I thought I'm gonna reach 20,000. And if I am, I've told everybody I'm having a party. And I saw this, a party balloon and streamer set. You get the balloons and you get the streamer. Picture on the back there. Love the colors, they're all pastel colors. 75 balloons, five, 12 and eight inches, 12 pounds for the whole of that. An incentive to get to 20,000 subscribers. Say hello to my new water bottle. They had my initial which is refreshing. It's a glass bottle. It's got a really 
really nice bamboo lid. It looks really well made, ladies. Um, and then you've got this rubber silicone cover or sleeve around the bottom. I do really love this. Uh, six pounds, again, a really nice gift. Maybe not so for a child because it's glass, but for an adult with a playful nature. <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. And it's microwave and dishwasher safe as well. So there we go, six pounds for quite a cute little glass bottle. Love that. This is a random purchase. Um, I don't know if any of you have used Ucril. I used to, and then I assumed that it wasn't cruelty free. Anyway, popped it into my cruelty cutter app, dun, 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 and it popped up as cruelty free. So I've absolutely picked up a tub of this. This is brilliant. This kind of puts to test all the other kind of teeth whitening brands. So let's put this one to the test as well. I think it was one pound 49. So super, super cheap and obviously much cheaper than the other stain removing powders that you can get. So try saying that when you've had a few. Uh, so £1.49 for that. This little purchase is fab. And actually this is for my mum. She's 80 in August and I'm just kind of collating some nice little bits for her things that I know that she would like. This is an ultrasonic aroma diffuser. Now she's mentioned to me before that she really, really wants one of these. In fact, she even sent me a link to one, I think a few months ago. But this one actually changes colour. I don't know if that's just going to be a bit too wacky for her, but it's a really really smart looking piece of kit. You might not have to have it on the changing color mode. It's really nice, very classy, nice shape. So I think she will really, really like that. 22 pounds. I'm not too sure how these things work. Are you supposed to put stuff in it? It says essential oil, not included. So actually you're gonna have to buy some essential oils as well. I think I might have some. Not that I'm ashamed of it, but I'd quite like to get the B&M label off. Sometimes they really, really don't come off that easily. This one looks like it's well and truly stuck on. But anyway, I'm sure I managed to get it off. 22 pounds and I think she's gonna absolutely love that. Right, outdoors. I did every single department. Wow, wow, wow. I was really, really chuffed with this purchase and I cannot wait to get them stuck in the ground. Black metal effect. They're not actually metal, actually, now I feel them. They're plastic. Flame effect post lights. So they will go in the ground up the stairs to our house. £15. Not a bad price at all. There's three of them. They're big as well. They're nice big ones and I'm liking this vibe. It's supposed to look like there's flames inside so it's a very warm light which is actually really nice some of these solar lights can be a bit bright it says there is a rechargeable battery included in each of the post lights if you're not lining a path as such just to have them sporadically placed in your flower beds anyway they're called Santorini lovely place by the way one of our best holidays was in Santorini and they were 15 pounds for three this is a little bit of fabness it's a lantern it's solar powered inside it's gold on the outside it's black so that when it actually does light up inside it reflects the gold that's inside if you know what I mean. There you go, it's solar panelled at the top, so you remove that little film, and it was £10. And this could go on a table outside, it could go in the corner, on the patio, it could hang, obviously, with the little hook. This one was in the sale. This was originally £18, and I got it for 12 I believe. 38 centimetres tall, which is good. It does exactly the same as the other one, so black on the outside, but this one's matte, and inside it's gold, so when it lights up, it's going to reflect that gold, it's going to go ping. It's actually quite a heavy piece as well, so I thought both two on the patio. Very, very nice. If we ever get any lovely weather again. And then last but not least, ladies, this is the final item. And this, if you've got a little girl, or maybe you're an adult and you love fairies, it was £20, now down to £15. There was only a few left in my B&M. She's a freestanding fairy with glass wings, the solar-powered ball that lights up when it's dark, and then you've got these little chimes, wind chimes, that hang off the leaf. So £15 from £20. Ladies, that is the last item. I'm snacking. If I was going to pick my favourite store out of these two, I know both stores do slightly different things, but I prefer to step into a range. I've got to be honest about that. There's just so much homeware and so many different styles and they put it into colour order, which is very, very helpful. Because if you do have a colour theme, and most people do have a slight theme to their house, the range is a place that you want to go, isn't it? So you can match everything up. But anyway, there we go. B&M also delivered a lot. There's some great ideas there. Gifts as well. I've got some new washing products which are cruelty free and vegan which is fab I've sorted out my mum so I think it's been a really successful haul right ladies as you saw halfway through I had a delivery that is from High Street Outlet which is my collaboration next week very very excited about that and if you have not yet started following the
them on Instagram, do so. There's gonna be a little section as well on their website, which is called All The Ladies, which is fantastic. I'll tell you more about that next Friday, but it's very, very exciting. If you are new here and you have not yet pressed the subscribe button, please do, that really does help me to grow. And if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more, a little click on that thumb would be really, really appreciated as well. And until next Friday at 6 p.m., have a wonderful weekend, have a wonderful week, and I will see you on the flip side. Take care.